Nearly a week now, a large area of the Mississippi neighborhood in North Portland has been blocked off by large barricades. It's part of an ongoing protest against a court-ordered eviction that's become a serious concern for neighbors in the area, both homes and businesses. Our Liz Birch is there live with an update on talks to bring the protest possibly to an end. Dan, big update just in the last half hour. We've seen them reopen North Mississippi Avenue here on Skidmore. Again, this just happened. We've seen people being able for the first time in nearly a week to drive through here. Now, earlier today, I talked to neighbors, and they say they're upset with city leaders that this continued for so long. At the entrances to the neighborhood and on top of local garages, we still saw guards armed with paintball guns this afternoon. The mayor said in a press conference that he was hopeful a peaceful end to this situation is close. A key opportunity to de-escalate the situation was provided by the Kinney family and the property developer. They came to a mutual desire to reach an amicable resolution. In a statement from the organization representing the Kinney family, they said, quote, we have no choice but to continue occupying the land for the Kinney family. Developer Roman Ozegura has yet to initiate any negotiations, end quote. They do say, however, they've begun deconstructing the blockades. Neighbors tell me today they're upset with the city leaders that this has been going on for so long. And when there's ammunition and guns and all this stuff in a residential neighborhood, it's a recipe for, um, you know, potentially something very bad to happen. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that these kids out here don't want that on their conscience either. This neighbor asked us not to show his face for fear of retribution. He says he's personally seen the occupiers carrying weapons within range of his home. So I've seen at least two Smith & Wesson Sport II AR-15 rifles. I've seen a uh, Remington 870 with a bandolier of ammo. And a building owner who's been here for decades says he's upset to see what's happening in the neighborhood and to his building. It's tough for it to continue when you own a building and you support the neighborhood and then it gets terrorized with graffiti. I'm sorry to say it, but I don't think it's right. You know, there's other ways to get support. That's not one way to get support. It's just vandalism. All right, so it is worth noting that on Thursday, William, he's the son of the family who was evicted, texted me saying that he was working on negotiations with the developer. So today I reached back out to him, to the organization representing his family, and to the developer to get some clarity on that. Uh, none of them have reached back out, but I'll let you know once they do. Live in Portland tonight, Liz Birch, Coin 6 News. And